Hello, my name is Mary Kay Worth, and this is entry number 115, 115 of my mother's journals, Lavender Fields. I do have an object lesson before I start reading. Mother's Day has just gone by, and I received this from California. It's a beautiful pendant. On a, on a necklace, it's a necklace that says mom on a heart. I was afraid I couldn't get it on and off myself. So I asked my sister if maybe she had a chain extender. Um, it was even better because she brought me this chain to hook onto it so I can leave it hooked all the time and I can put it on and off myself. And this chain was my mom's, my mom's. It's like precious and perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, how wonderful this is and how wonderful I've got my mom and my California son. And then tomorrow I'll show you my other things that I got from my New York son. Here's Mama's journal, and I'm going to skip to Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. I slept well again last night. Jim and I worked most of the night, scrubbing down the walls and sinks of our house. Later, Barb Phillips showed up. <laughs> that was all her dream. Today, Mary Kay is going out for a while. On Facebook, she wrote about when I called her and asked her for an update on my resume. I was 76 years old, and Mary was still working. I told her then that Senator Catherine Young had nominated me as Woman of the Year, she wrote. And it was actually Women of Distinction in the state of New York. Well, it's been approved, I said, but I'm not going to go. I don't want to be in the paper, and I'll, I'll send her the resume, but I'm not going, she said. Mom, that's very selfish of you. Others might want to go. Your siblings, your family members, your children. I want to go. I'll let them know about it, and they can decide for themselves. When the time came to go to Albany, Karen was able to come. So it was the, th the three of us, plus Jim, and I'm glad that Mary Kay shamed me into going. There was a nice article in the paper about it. And I'm going to leave it there and ask you again, treat your mothers well, and if for some reason you don't have a mom in your life, that you can treat well, treat somebody else that is a mother well. Treat your neighbors well. Treat everybody well. God bless.